Welcome to a video from TheSlice.com. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use the vocoder in the virtual Korg Microcode because this is the VST version. It comes with the Korg collection. There's two ways to use it. You can use it as a standalone or you can use it in your door. It's better in your door but I'm going to show you both options. I'll quickly show you the standalone version but I prefer using the door. Um, I've got a microphone hooked up to my uh, main mixer which is a USB mixer which is what I've set up with the, the micro cog and that's what I use in the door. So, um, microphone is plugged in. I go into system preferences and you set your audio uh, devices. So, in my case, I've set the, the mixer there uh, as the input and output. You can just select your vocoder. In fact, I want to also, while I'm here, I'm going to select the my mod wave to control it via MIDI. That's it. So, um, normal audio is going through a mixer now. And if I play chord, I get the vocal uh, sounds which you're not hearing from here. Let's, I'll, I'll drop those in later. Um, so, when I play, I hear the, the vocoder sounds, which is great. You, you can have a good fun with the vocoder. Um, but more useful is using it in your door, so let's switch to the door. So I'm using Cubase, but I think this works the same in most doors. So normally when you add a, a VST instrument, if you're in Cubase, you add an instrument track, you pick, say, microcode, you add that, and then the microcode is there ready to, ready to be played. And you can select the vocoder from there. And I'm going to select my MIDI as a mod wave. And you think that would work, but it, it doesn't. There's no there's no um, vocoding going on. That's because you've got to use it as an insert or a send effect rather than um, rather than just a straight instrument track. So what you actually need to do, let me close that, is I'll add an audio track. And that is going to be and then I can go into insert, add the microcorg, and then I can choose my vocoder. Okay, so I've set the, a, a MIDI track up to control it, and um, I've got the audio on there. Now, it still won't, I won't hear anything in real time unless I put the monitoring on. If I put the monitor on, then I'll be able to hear it, and when I do the vocoding, I'll be able to hear it. So you can hear the audio out of this. I'm just going to record some audio and then use it as the effect. So I'm going to some audio now. This is just dry audio, and then I'm going to play the chord on mud wave, and that should then start to play the vocoding effect, and you should be able to hear the vocoding effect on so I've recorded the audio and the chords and as you can hear I'll play that back through this through this recording that's worked so the trick is to use the, the uh, micro Korg as a send effect or an insert effect and using it as an insert effect rather than just as an instrument in its own right and then you can set the MIDI to control it over so that's it so that's how you get vocoding there's loads of vocoder effects on the microcoder, so it's actually really good fun playing with the vocoder. Um, it's just like the MS2000 vocoder, but in this case it's all virtual, so all you need is a microphone. But of course you don't have to feed it with a microphone, you can feed it with any audio source and that'll trigger it. Um, so it's a great way of adding some uh, vocoding effects to your, to your project, and all you need is the, the virtual microcoder VST, which you can get from the Korg collection. Hopefully that uh, answers some questions. Thanks for watching this video. I'll play out this little vocoder example.